This video is sponsored by Lulu. Okay, you ready? I, I think I'm ready, yeah. Ready and go. Excellent, so um, I'm here in InDesign and uh, I have three documents. I have flyer one, flyer three, and two. <laughs> And um, anyway, so, so this, this happens sometimes, right? So you've got these product flyers and they're separate documents. These could have been separate pages. I do agree with that. But sometimes you've got different uh, page sizes and different other types of projects. And you know, it just the universe decided these are all separate documents. However, they do sometimes share an element or text you know, across all these different documents. This could be like a legal text, uh, it could be an introduction, it could be contact information with a name, email address, whatever it is. And so the thing is that what happens is if you look at this text specifically, it says at Apex Business Solutions, we specialize in providing strategic blah, blah, blah. So I've got this text here, I've got that in this document, I've got that in this document. And so what happens is if this text changes, because my customer says we're gonna revise it, you know, blah, 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 you have to kind of go back and do the same thing there and there as well, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to delete all of these, and that fixes the problem. No, it's not <laughs> true. No. So, so what you do is, so I'm going to come in, and I'm going to select all the text. And you might be thinking that the trick is copy and paste. That would not be a tip. So if I, I'm going to select the text, I'm going to choose edit, I'm going to choose place and link, and I'm going to place that in this document. And I'm going to go again, and I'm going to try again, edit, place, and a link. I'm going to try this again here. And maybe I, I actually want to put this on two columns. It's, it, it's sloppy, but you, know, you, you, you catch, um, you know, you understand it. So the thing is, if I now come and say, we specialize in, provigic, in providing custom, look what happens. I'm not even going to save. All of a sudden, it's like, <gasps> update. You click it, it will update the same text everywhere. You're linking text and making it reflect or mirror whatever was here inside of this specific master document. And if you were to look this up in the links panel, option click the link icon, you can see that there is a link now that's referring to that file, flyer1.ind.d. And so this is a great way for you to synchronize content across multiple documents. Just keep in mind that there's a big difference here um, between selecting the content and choosing uh, place and link, and, sh and selecting the text frame and choosing place and link. So, because just so you know, just to kind of complete the story, if you do that, it will place two links in the links panel, one for the content, one for the frame. So you can have these things um, update independently, which is, which is kind of cool. And just so you know that if you do change the formatting here, and you go back and you make a change here, it will reset all your formatting. To avoid that, just make sure that you always redefine your styles, your paragraph styles in every document. And the content will change, but the formatting will be unique. And that's what you do. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.